food trucks have become a popular choice for quick and delicious meals on the go. However, safety should always be a priority. Ensuring the safety of your food truck is critical not only for your business, but also for the safety of your customers and employees. In our upcoming video, we will guide food truck vendors through the critical steps to prepare for an inspection, ensuring you meet all of the fire safety requirements. For this video, one of our inspectors will guide you through this inspection, ensuring that your food truck meets the necessary code standards and is safe for operations. The first step in the inspection process involves gathering the owner's information, such as the license plate and permit number. The annual inspection fee is $50. This is agreed upon fee that all municipalities will charge. We will honor permits and inspections from these adjacent areas, eliminating the need for an additional $50 fee. Now, let's dive into the critical fire safety requirements that every food truck owner should be aware of. One of our inspectors will initiate the inspection by focusing on the exterior of the vehicle. He or she will ensure that the propane tanks are securely fastened and that the system shutoff valve is easily accessible. Additionally, all spare and empty propane cylinders must be properly secured. It is important to position your food truck at least 10 feet away from any other truck or occupancy. Now, as our inspector moves inside the food truck, he or she will first focus on the proper extinguisher types and their current inspection tags. Remember, these extinguishers must undergo testing and tag every 12 months. Next, our inspectors will inspect your cooking area, focusing on the hood and the suppression system, ensuring there is no grease buildup and that they are positioned correctly. Please note that a suppression system is mandatory for any cooking that produces grease vapors. The suppression system must be installed by a licensed professional and tested and tagged every six months. You should have easy clutter-free access to the manual shutoff valve, allowing you to activate the suppression system in case of a fire. A commercial exhaust hood must cover cooking appliances to provide ventilation, remove smoke, and collect grease. Cleaning intervals should align with your cooking frequency. There are two types of commercial exhaust hoods. Type one hood, which covers smoke and grease vapors, and type two hood, which covers steaming and brawling. Consider installing carbon monoxide detectors to detect any leaks that may develop from fuel lines, tanks, or appliances. After a successful inspection, you will receive a window shield sticker with a unique identification number, along with a hole punch identifying the approval month and year. If your food truck doesn't cook or prepare food that produce smoke or grease vapors, like Italian ice or ice cream trucks, you won't be required to have a permit. To schedule an inspection, call 901 636-5401 or bring your food truck to the Fire Prevention Bureau located at 2668 Avery Avenue. Please keep in mind that these requirements pertain to fire code only. You will still need to comply with the health department regulations and other city requirements. Thank you for dedicating the time to ensure the safety of your food truck. By adhering to these fire safety guidelines, you not only protect your business, but the well-being of your customers and employees. Here at the City of Memphis, we take pride in providing the best experience to the public we serve, with life safety as our top priority. Stay safe and happy cooking. <laughs>